you know, I've got four draft age children. So if you're playing recklessly, fast and loose with their lives, then I have a right to despise you. And I do. Tucker Carlson has been going after Ben Shapiro pretty hard uh, and claiming that Ben is, is not pro-America and a whole bunch more. And I would connect this to what we're saying, which is that Tucker and Ben are not on the opposite side of things, I think. I think they both love America. I think they may have different policy issues, per particularly when it comes to foreign policy, perhaps. Uh, but we need to make sure that the Tucker Carlson's and the Ben Shapiro's are not in warring factions. Otherwise, all of those people who are on the way are gonna be like, wow, look at these freaking people. Look at these freaking people. They can't even agree on anything. Uh, so I want, I am going to try very hard uh, for the next little while to, to settle this issue. So I wanna show you a, a video of Tucker Carlson. He's made remarks like this a couple times before, but I thought this was sort of the most direct and intense. Uh, Tucker Carlson on, um, on Russell Brand's podcast, uh, talking about uh, Ben Shapiro. Take a look. I would say two huh. things. First, we have a right to be mad, at least, and let me just again speak for Americans, middle-aged Americans, uh, which is what I am. You know, I've got four draft-age children, so if you're playing recklessly, fast and loose with their lives, then I have a right to despise you, and I do. So if you're Nikki Haley who's running for president or Ben Shapiro or half the people I see on television casually mentioning the possibility of nuclear war or sending Americans to fight in the Middle East or in any way involving us in a war that has nothing to do with prosperity and peace at home, nothing in other words to do with us Americans, then I have a right to call you out and be really offended because it's my family. They live here. It's not a joke to me. It's, there's nothing abstract about it. And that is the difference between what's happening in the Middle East from what's happening in Ukraine, about which I had very strong feelings, but I didn't think there was a realistic possibility that my kids could be enmeshed in it. Now there is. So I think, you know, get some self-respect. I would say to my fellow Americans, get a clearer picture of what's important. Your children are important. Okay, that's number one, your children. And if they're threatening your children, I don't care what their justification is. They're your enemy. That's how I feel about it. Okay, first I want to address the part that I agree with. I, I actually agree with Tucker on the meta part of this, that we should have sane foreign policy and we have to care about what's happening within our borders first. And I can tell you as a new father, the important thing is that my kids will live in a safe, prosperous country and everything else. So he's right about that. Now the part where he's connecting it, and I'm gonna remove Nikki from this because he's, he's referencing a politician. Politicians have policies. I have never once, heard Ben call for troops in the Middle East. I have never heard once for Ben calling for nuclear war. So when he says, I, have a, I, have a, I, I think he says, I have a right to despise you or something like that, uh, there is a fundamental difference between saying, oh, we would like to help an ally because that's what this is really about. He's talking about Israel. We'd like to help an ally with the arms that it needs to stop a genocidal terrorist organization from causing a second Holocaust versus we're sending troops there and everything else. I think he's being a little kind of sloppy with that, but I'm agreeing with the meta version of what he's saying. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because I think that explanation that I just laid out there, that can be healed. And if we can heal that, then a whole bunch of people, all those people who I just mentioned, who are kind of on their way, they're not gonna be like, oh, these people are all crazy and look at them always trying to take themselves out. So anyway, I had Ben on the show last week uh, and I asked him about that because I think it's important that we, can, uh, that we can defray some of this nonsense before it really lights on fire. Uh, and I thought Ben's answer was quite good. I, I wanna ask you one other thing related to this since I brought up Tucker a couple of times. He, he's been somewhat critical of you. I actually think kind of unfairly, and I, I defended you on my show a couple of weeks ago, basically saying that you were, you were too overly emotive about Israel uh, and what was going on there. And I think there's some subtle overtones uh, with, that come with that. What do you make of his criticism of you related to this? Also and I know it's not the most fun thing to talk about because we all live in the same world in a, in a sense. Um, also the fact that, you know, he's trying to build a network, you have a network, he might view you as competition now. There could be some other motives going on here. I mean, listen, best to Tucker in all of his endeavors with, with regard to his network. I think that some of the, he put out a, a little documentary on the border recently that I thought was quite good. You know, again, I, I like many things that Tucker says. What Tucker said about me is that I don't love the country, which I found absolutely peculiar. Uh, it's, it's something that, I would never say about him. He and I disagree about a wide variety of issues, ranging from economics to foreign policy. That's a, that's a bizarre notion. And again, I've, I've actually invited Tucker to come on my show. Like we've been texting. I, I think it's good for the right to have these discussions. Um, I'd be perfectly willing to, to, to discuss with him. Hopefully we can work out a time 
to to make that happen because yeah, I mean, I too would, would be uh, interested in some clarification of, of whether, you know, in fact, he, he does think that I don't love the country in the way that he suggested. Because, again, I, I think that I, I doubt he feels that way. I really doubt he feels that way. Perhaps it was poorly articulated. Um, but I'd like to certainly ask him the question. All right. So Tucker has said it a couple of times. Tucker, I'm happy to talk to you anytime. I'm happy to facilitate a conversation. You guys are obviously texting already. But the point of all of this is, is as these people wake up, Let's give them a home that they can walk into that is nice and clean and orderly and respect some differences and all of that stuff the way the United States always was, as opposed to all of these people being like, wow, I've been kicked out of that house, right? I've been kicked out of the Democrat party and the progressives are loons and all hell's breaking loose over there. And then I'm like, oh, there's a nice house over there. And then you open up the door and then everyone's fighting over here. That will not be good and we will just get more of this insanity.